Hello and welcome back to my channel, Thrifty Day. My name is Leah. I'm the creator behind Thrifty Day. Today's episode is really fun. I actually am going to do an unboxing of some beautiful washi tapes that the washi tape shop so generously sent me to review and share with all of you. Here is a sneak peek at some of those beautiful washi tapes. I absolutely love them and I can't wait to show you. And I'm going to do a layout. We're gonna make a really easy pocket and we're just gonna have some fun. So let's start with the unboxing. So right off the bat, I have to tell you, I was very excited. You know me, you know I am all about packaging and beautiful, fun ways to wrap things. Um, and so I have to say, these are wrapped absolutely beautiful. So I'm already very excited to open all of these really cute little presents. Look at the top. They actually have like a sample of what's on the inside, which I think is very clever as well. And as a journaler, of course, I'm going to keep all of those little circle stickers and put them in my journal as a memory. And they're just pretty. The washi tape shop also gave me a code to share with all of you. That code is thrifty day 10. I will link all of that information in the description box down below. If you were interested in shopping, I will also be sure to link their website and their social channels. These are like unwrapping little presents. I was very excited to open all of these and I love this clear tape. It is so beautiful. The birds are vibrant. I'm eager to see if they are hard to get off of the backing and we will find that out later in the video. But right away, I am very impressed with the colors and I just, I'm so excited opening all of these little cylinder presents. I actually considered trying to keep the tissue to use, but it was just a losing battle. Oh my goodness, these are maps and they are so lovely. These are very wide. These are at least three inches. So these would be perfect to use in composition book journals in my opinion. Once I started opening a few, I got the hang of how to open them a little bit easier. <laughs> but this one is stunning. I do love the colors. Right away, I was very taken with like the silhouette of the woman and the different um, floral prints on this one. And they feel very soft. So I do like that. I'm very impressed, I have to say. I have been very eager to shop with the washi tape shop for a while so when they reached out to me i was very excited because look at these prints i just feel like you can't find these anywhere else look at the clock and the birds this one is beautiful and the colors are very vibrant there also seems to be a lot on each roll it's not a small offering it feels like you get quite a bit per roll this one's so pretty i feel like it would be really pretty for a wedding or I have a graduation party coming for my, actually both of my daughters. <laughs> and this definitely would match one aesthetic a little more than the other. Very pretty muted pinks. I couldn't really tell what this one was just looking at the little circle. Um, so I was kind of very excited to open it. It's another clear tape, which I think is really beautiful. And I was very pleasantly surprised. They're all different images. They're sort of sketch style, which I found very appealing. In fact, this is actually one of my favorite tapes, and I'm going to show you why. I am actually in the process of making my next composition book daily journal because this one's almost full. And if you follow my tutorial, you know that I put thick packing tape right down the center to secure the foundation of my composition book journal, and this will be perfect. I'm actually making my composition book jerk book journal tomorrow so I'm going to use it there and I'm very excited so that's a very purposeful tape that I'm very excited to have I feel like I'm just opening for days it's like my birthday here this one's beautiful I love the black swan I love a vintage park moment and that is definitely the vibe of this tape I think it will be interesting to see how I use it if I actually use it in one long roll or if I cut it up I'll have to put my thinking cap on for that one, but I love the print. This particular print and roll is probably my favorite. They're actually raised. I'm not sure if you can tell, but those butterflies have sort of a raised quality. And I love the colors. To me, they scream 80s like living room. It's very Golden Girls. So this was definitely my favorite. And I think I like the size the best too. So I believe this is the last roll, and to my surprise, there was three inside. How exciting was that? And these are actually individual stickers. So it was sort of fun to open them up and realize that this little roll was actually my favorite. There's strawberries and baskets and pies and fruits, 
and loaves of bread. It was very picnic vibes and I loved it. Um, just very cute and they're sort of very like painted looking they're very artsy I love them this was another one of my favorites and I loved that they were individual stickers I love that little kettle so cute again this is a roll of individual stickers so as you pull it open there's like chairs and baskets and um, they're very pretty they're they're actually washi stickers so they're sort of like transparent you can see through them which I thought was interesting so that will be really fun to use I think on like labels and tags and the last and tallest role is darling they're like houses and like cottages I really was quite taken with this one as well very very beautiful the colors are very pretty and there one came right off so I could show you it's like a little house in the forest it's very cute i was i was very um pleasantly surprised there's also little bikes and things like that little garden gates children ladders this one was really sweet and the stickers are very nice size like two to three inches each so thank you so much to the washi tape shop for sending me those beautiful gifts i loved reviewing them and i'm very happy with them and again all of their information is linked in the description box down below you can use my code thriftyday10 for a discount now let's have some fun with these washi tapes. I think what I'm going to do, because my journal is almost full, it's very exciting. It's that very exciting time of a journaler's journey. Um, but the back is open, and so I have some stickers. These stickers actually are in my shop. They sold out twice. I am hoping to restock them again. They also come with a postcard. They're perfect for journaling, really fun, matte paper stickers, inexpensive, um, and I have some other little odds and ends here. That's actually that brown craft paper is actually the back of a vintage ledger book. And it's just vintage, so I couldn't get rid of it. This is the postcard, by the way. Isn't that adorable? Um, so I didn't want to get rid of it. And I the page there was strawberry. So I'm just going to kind of squish it all together and make a very fun little crafty layout. I also would like to apologize for the sound that probably isn't pristine, but I am actually waiting for my daughter. She's getting her hair done and I'm in the parking lot. So <laughs> the sound may not be great, but I really wanted to get this YouTube out to you to show you the tapes and to show you the stickers. And I have so many other YouTubes lined up. I can't wait to just sort of get them all out there. So the first thing I'm going to use is this scrap of acetate sheet. I actually did a tutorial over on my Patreon and um, this was a scrap. So I decided to use it here in the layout because I don't like things sitting around for too long. So I decided to make a clear pocket and then I thought I would use this beautiful, clear, transparent washi tape shop tape. And I'm just going to put it all the way down the side and make it decorative. I love the birds. So that's what I chose. I think I've mentioned this before, but a fun fact is that ever since I was a baby, my dad always called me Birdie. And so whenever I see birds, I very fondly think of my dad. And this tape is sticky. It is strong like packing tape. So I do think there's going to be a bit of a learning curve to make sure when I'm using that on paper to maybe be a little more careful. I think I was just slapping it down here. <laughs> but um, I can attest to the fact that this tape is very strong and very, very sticky. So I'm going to use my bone folder just to make sure it is down nice and flat. And I think it looks so pretty. It actually added such a nice little decorative touch to that vintage book page. So let me know if any of you have shopped with the washi tape shop before. I'm very excited to continue to use these tapes. I will be sure to let you know how I feel about the quality. And we're going to do a whole swatch page too. So it should be fun. But I'd love to hear if any of you have experiences as well. Also, if you are new, be sure to drop a comment so that we can connect. And if you would be so kind as to hit the like button, that would mean so much to me. It really does help me grow my channel. I know I sound like a broken record on my videos, but it means so much to me when you hit that like button because a lot of work goes into these videos, a lot of editing and voiceover and recording. And while it is work I enjoy and love, it is so validating when you hit that like button or even leave a comment or even better, subscribe. All of those things do mean so much to me. And so I just want to say thank you and encourage you to um, support me in the easiest way possible by hitting that like button. So these paper stickers I had in my shop, like I said, they sold out 
like so quick my head was spinning so thank you thank you thank you I love all of you um but I love them I love paper stickers I think they're really fun um to add to your journal this is a very berry theme and so um this was a little tag that was sent to me by Denise I believe so thank you Denise I'm going to use it for my journaling space but paper stickers are really fun because they're an inexpensive way to add character. My theme over on Patreon this month was very berry. So that is why I made this sticker and postcard set um, to sort of coordinate with the theme of very berry. So now I'm just going to cut down that vintage cardstock, if you will. And that is going to go right into that pocket. And it's also going to serve as my um, washi tape swatch page and then I'm just going to put the postcard over it and then later on I'm going to go add my personal journaling to that cute little strawberry um, tag at the bottom and to the strawberry postcard. So now I just get to have a little bit of fun with all of these really pretty washi tapes and I'm excited to tell you that all of them are very sticky. The colors remain very vibrant even after you put them onto the paper. I'll let you see for yourself though and they are relatively easy to peel off of their backings which was very important to me because i know that when i really struggle to get things off of like their backings whether it's tape or stickers it's frustrating and i know as journalers out there you guys are probably frustrated with that too so i am happy to report that these were not a huge struggle which is nice so while i put all of these beautiful tapes onto this um swatch page I just want to do a check-in, see how everyone's doing. What is everyone up to? I am up to my ears in graduation parties. Um, my oldest daughter is graduating with her master's degree, and my youngest daughter is graduating from high school. And so we have back-to-back -back graduation parties, back-to-back -back graduations. There's so much to be done. Prom is also mixed up in there, last senior prom. So I am a little bit overwhelmed, I'm not going to lie. I am feeling that sort of pressure of life. I'm also feeling the pressure to try to stay very present, which is so much harder to do than you'd think. So let me know what you are up to. Are you kind of coasting through life right now? Um, are you facing challenges that you care to share? Are you also feeling a little bit of end of school year stress? Or are you excited that the school year is ending and it's almost summer? Let me know. We can have discussions in the comments because I know that a lot of us have families. A lot of us are very supportive of friends. And, and um, so this can be a very taxing time of year. So I just want you to know that if you are also feeling that pressure, you are most certainly not alone. I am right there with you. Aren't those stickers pretty? I actually was pleasantly surprised that they stayed so like vibrant and pretty. Um, I wanna add these butterflies because like I said, they were my favorite. So I actually put them on there twice. <laughs> I didn't wanna waste any of them. And then I also remembered on that smaller roll, there was a little like bunch of strawberries. So I actually pulled that little sticker off and I don't put it on the washi tape page. I actually put it on the I guess strawberry theme page and um, I'm really happy with how that came out. So as I mentioned before my theme this month on Patreon was very berry and oh my goodness it has been so much fun. Next month my theme is Oz and oh my goodness it is so fun and I am having a great time already sort of pre-planning for it and if you want to know what the very next month is, you can actually drop down into the description box because I actually have past themes, if you were curious, and themes to come. So if you were curious, go ahead and check out the description box because I think I have the next, oh, maybe three or four months already queued up. So be sure to check that out if you were interested. I really did have a fun little play with all of these different stickers and washi tapes. I'm very excited with how this page came out. It was just a fun, crafty, creative page, and I really think I needed that today. Look at how beautiful they all look. This is so sweet, and it just makes me happy. It's just one of those pages that isn't necessarily for anything. It's just to make you happy. And now I'm going to add my very, very postcard right in the top. I'm going to add that really pretty little cottage right to the bottom of the clear pocket, and I am just about done. 
the only thing that is left to do is my journaling and I'm going to do that off camera. But now let me give you a look at the completed layout. So this is my completed layout and I am so happy. Sometimes just being creative for no reason is enough to put a big smile on your face. So there's my postcard. I did my journaling on the back. There is the washi swatch page that is super duper cute. Again, if you were looking for any of the washi tape shop information, that is all down below. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your continued support here on my little YouTube channel. It means so much to me that so many of you show up and cheer me on. And I just want you to know that I am very, very grateful for your presence here in this space. So I hope everyone has an amazing weekend. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.